Okay, so I promise this will be my last Ian Gary related video. Like, Jesus Christ, I've turned into an Ian Gary YouTube channel instead of an MMA YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel, sorry. But yeah, it, so it's official. Ian Gary has actually pulled out. Chael Sonnen wasn't bullshitting. He was really telling the truth. It's really hard to know sometimes, but it is true. Ian Gary is out per Dana White. Dana White says that Ian Gary has pneumonia. So yeah, Ian Gary is out of the fight. And it seems like it is pretty serious pneumonia. You know, you can't fuck around with pneumonia. Uh, you know, he is a young man. He's in good shape. I think he will be all right. I don't, I don't think he's going to have any permanent damage or die or anything like that. So he should be all right. Uh, wishing for a speedy recovery for Ian Gary, obviously. But this makes me think, is Vicente Luque going to get a replacement? You know, it's very short notice. So it is very unlikely that he is going to get a replacement. But I think... You know, there is a day, there's still a day to go. Uh, if you're going to have a replacement, there is one man you can call. You can trust this man to step in and you can trust for this to be a banger fight. I reckon you make it a 180 pound catch weight and you do the trailblazer Kevin Holland versus Vicente Luque. Come on, that fight would be awesome. I know uh, Kevin Holland is coming off a loss to Jack Della Maddalena and Vicente Luque is pretty highly ranked, but... When it comes to short notice fights, I'm sure Vicente Luque wants to have a fight before the end of the year. You know, he's going to want to have a good Christmas. He's going to want to have some extra money for Christmas. Uh, he's going to want to enjoy his Christmas. He is a devout Christian, so uh, Christmas is going to mean a lot more to him than the uh, average, you know, person because he is very devout, got baptized very recently. Uh, but yeah, you know. I'd love to see that fight. I think Vicente Luque versus Kevin Holland would be a sick fight to make. I don't know if it can happen or not. I don't know where Kevin Holland is right now, but I'm sure uh, he can make his way to the Uf UFC 296. I'm sure he's probably going to go and watch the fights anyway. So, you know, he could just step in. Uh, this is the type of thing he likes to do. He likes to stay very active. You know, apparently they were trying to do him versus MVP for January, so I'm sure he's in fight shape. Uh, and it would be just an awesome fight to make. So I, I reckon they should do that fight, Kevin Holland versus Vicente Luque. Uh, get Vicente Luque, you know, let's not put this camp to waste. Let's get him in there. Let's get him having a fight. Cause, you know, you got to feel bad for Luque in this situation. Uh, it's not his fault that uh, Ian Gary got sick. At the very least, Vicente Luque should get his show money or something, like... Uh, you know, he, he needs to get, he needs to get compromised, you know, Vicente Luca was out for a year, or, you know, a year, and then he did come back about four months ago against RDA, but the guy hasn't been fighting as regularly because of the whole brain bleed incident and everything, so, you know, I, I just hope, hope all goes well for the guy, you know, but, I, I can't imagine anybody is going to step in unless it is Kevin Holland, so this is a very big if, he does step in. I really highly doubt we get this fight, but hopefully we do. It'd be a banger fight. Uh, Vicente Luque deserves to get a fight still. And, you know, who knows? Kevin Doucette's uh, offering to step in. Uh, but I doubt he gets this fight, you know. But it would be cool. He did, he's coming off a really good performance. Kevin Holland has commented with a phone call. So yeah, it looks like it looks like a lot of people are interested in stepping in. Uh, I can't imagine it'll be Kevin Ducet who gets the call, but Kevin Holland wants the fight. Let's do it. Let's make the fucking fight. Kevin Holland versus Vicente Luque. Come on, let's do it. Why not? What do we lose from this? It'll be a sick fight. Like, Come on, we gotta fucking do that fight. Like, that that's just an awesome fight. This card's stacked as fuck, so it's not like the card loses anything, but we're MMA fans, we're greedy, we want as much fights as we can get. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, we just, when we see a stacked card, we want that card to be as stacked as fuck. So, Kevin Holland versus Vicente Luque, let's get this fight. If this fight does get made, I'll make an update video doing my prediction. Obviously, I'm not gonna do a pre prediction for the fight if it doesn't happen, but if it does become official, I will make a video. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Make sure you leave a like. I do appreciate it if you can leave a like. Subscribe if you ain't already. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.